Tech. 35 strong years of putting you on your path to career success. Will you be for tech? Your path to career success. 35 strong years of putting you on your path to career success. Will you be for tech? Your path to career success. We begin in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good morning and Happy New Year 2023 to everyone. Welcome to UB Roytech Student Orientation. My name is Sarika Munyan Makund, Manager of Student Services, and I am delighted to be your host for today. On behalf of the management, staff, and faculty of UB Roytech, I extend a hearty welcome to you to this mm -hmm. event that starts your journey with us. As you prepare for classes to begin next week, some of you will have classes either on campus, online, or a combination of both. So in order for you to feel comfortable, we have some health, safety, and security aspects when entering the campus for you to know. Rest assured, we have instituted the necessary health and safety protocols for all stakeholders of UB Roytech. Health and safety is a shared responsibility. Therefore, we expect that you will do your part in the process. As you access any of our campus facilities, you are required to wear your student ID at all times and have it visibly displayed. You, while wear, mask wearing is optional, we strongly suggest that you wear one or you keep one in your person in the event that you feel the onset of the flu while on campus. Now we cannot mandate that you stay away if you are ill, but we would want you to safeguard yourself and your fellow classmates and not you know, pass on any viruses or flu, et cetera. So please exercise caution at all times. You are required to wash or sanitize your hands upon entry and have your temperature checked. You are, or we would want you to watch your distance at all times and comply with further instructions from security while on the campus. In addition to the above, um, you know, we have auxiliary staff who will be cleaning and sanitizing frequently touch services throughout the day. And we want you to know that we are going to continue to be guided by the Ministry of Health and their guidelines, right? So your student handbook contains regulations about the dress code and student code of conduct. You are asked to look at that document, which was shared with you in your acceptance package or your registration package, you might have you. That document is crucial for you to understand how are you supposed to be professionally attired upon entry. You are encouraged to be alert of your surroundings and know your location at all times. For instance, if you are on the ground floor and you need to access your classrooms, you may either use staircases located on the northern and southern side of the building or the elevator situated on the western side of each floor. You are to secure your belongings while on the compound. So try not to leave your bags unattended. While we have not heard or been reports being um, filed about lost belongings, you know, we just don't want to have any issues of that. Lockers are also available for rent from our student council bookshop located on the ground floor. Unfortunately, we can't, you know, all have this session in person, so we, we are letting you know this information so that you can be guided before entering the compound, all right? I also like to, you know, congratulate you as you start your journey and choosing UB Roytech for your path to career success as you get into tertiary studies. Today's session, uh, we have a number of staff members sharing crucial information to you transitioning and making that transition smoother and more manageable with success in mind. So be alert as some segments have hidden items to win prizes or so take his notes, take a little uh, pen and paper and write your notes as we go along. All right. So we now move into the agenda for today. 
UB Rytec has been a stalwart institution in private tertiary education since 1987. In 2006, we became a full subsidiary of the University of the West Indies in St. Augustine. UB Rytec has been a major contributor to national human resource. And as you start your journey off today in your various fields, whether it is business management and IT, permit me to introduce the figurehead of our esteemed institution, Ms. Wendy Augustus, our executive director. She has prepared a video for you today, but let me share a little bit about her. She has over 35 years experience as a bona fide administrator. Her leadership has been excellent and her experience has positioned her to lead our or to rather to lead two tertiary institutions to achieving accreditation standing. She is quite passionate about core values, key among them being excellence, integrity, people-centeredness, equity, quality, and lifelong learning. Ms. Augustus takes pride in her efforts at serving the community and in particular at ensuring that equality of educational opportunity means equality of access for citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. She has worked in a holistic manner to ensure that the institution remains viable and continues to be the first choice in private tertiary education. Through the design and access of industry relevant programs, which address the needs of the workforce and are aligned to national developmental goals. So join me in welcoming Ms. Wendy Augustus, our Executive Director of UV Roytech. Good day, students. On behalf of the Board of Directors, chaired by Professor Rosemary Bell Antoine, the Principal and Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, my good self, Mrs. Wendy Augustus, Executive Director, and the management and staff of UB Roytec. I extend a warm welcome to Orientation 2022 and thank you for choosing UB Roytec as your tutory education provider. As we celebrate our 35th anniversary of Journeying to Success, I am especially pleased to address the new student body and encourage you to be a part of our recognition and celebration of 35 years of excellence. Our celebration comes at a time when the country has once again opened the doors of educational institutions and is beginning to return to new and improved ways of doing things. We commend you for your decision to pursue higher education in the face of a retreating pandemic and for advancing your plan for self-development. Many have used this turbulent past to shape new habits, new ways of thinking, new priorities as a means of adaptation and have decided what should stay and what should go as we start to envision post-pandemic life. It is most assuredly a time of radical change, a time that can be owned by creative and innovative minds like yours. And so, after two years of a pandemic and emergency remote teaching and learning, the narrative has shifted from vaccination, remote work, and remote learning. The shift in focus should be at the forefront of your minds as you will be the beneficiaries of these changes and so you need to participate in the discussion. Today, there is an acceptance that an online education is the way of the future. Accompanying that thinking is a demand for high standards for online education quality and experience. Discussions now center on ways by which we can strengthen weaknesses so as to fully reap the benefits of a good online education that is seamless, where programs provide a roadmap to achieve student life goals and help with day-to-day -day structure to achieve steady progress. Students need assurances that there is an engaging teaching approach, competent faculty, high quality classes, and up-to-date content. There is an expectation of timely support so that students are not alone in their learning journey and have adequate 24-7 support for academic and non-academic issues. Now, more than ever, there is a concern for return on investment. Students need to know if they can get a job, a good paying job with the new qualifications they have paid for, 
or whether their degree provides them with the skills needed in the job market. Educational institutions are expected to be responsive and accountable. Your institution, UWI Roy Tech, has begun the process of reimagining and reinventing itself to more effectively serve a new generation of students. We have looked ahead and apply the lessons learned over the last two years to support the changing needs of students and staff. The major part of our reinventing started back in 2019 with a strategic decision to move into blended learning, as we predicted enrollment decline based on local national funding policy shifts and were aware that students were looking for more convenient ways to earn a degree. We also recognize that internationally, large online schools were continuing to gain market share, which we anticipated benefiting from. In fact, we have already begun to attract students from Grenada and Barbados. Additionally, regional participation in corporate training has been on the increase. The fact is that students in 2019 were already examining their educational options and non-traditional models that take a different approach were becoming increasingly important. And so, when COVID hit, we were already in the planning stages of reinventing ourselves, reinventing how we deliver programs, how we train and professionally develop faculty and staff, how we conduct day-to-day -day business, how and what services we offer to students, how we do everything in a way that is more efficient, more effective, data and technology driven. Like you, the institution continues to be on a path to greater career success. As students of UE Roytech, you can expect your lecturers to be focused on applied learning and to create opportunity for you to tackle many of the real world problems out there. You can expect academic support by way of library services. In fact, we can boast of becoming a part of the Alma Jordan Library of the UE St. Augustine campus. This means that faculty and students have remote access to UE's databases related to your areas of study. There's strong technical support, academic advisors, registry staff, counselors, student council members, student services personnel, curricular and co-curricular activities, and student leadership opportunities. All of what we do, all of what we offer is solely and intensely focused on your having a fulfilling and wholesome student experience. And so I encourage you to support your classmates, support and participate in collaborative group work, be sensitive to the long-lasting health effects of COVID-19 on yourself and colleagues and ask for or refer persons to available support if needed. Ask for help if you are having difficulties transitioning to tutory level studies. Attend all of your classes and sign the registers as your gate funding will be negatively impacted. Organize and manage your time. Demonstrate commitment to academic honesty by completing assignments and other coursework with integrity. We look forward to supporting your journey to becoming educated citizens who will add to the human capital of our beautiful Twin Island Republic. Know that the classroom continues to be a place where paradise can be realized, a place of passion and possibility, a place where spirit matters, where all that we learn and know leads us into greater connection, into greater understanding of life lived in community. Welcome to UWI Roy Tech and to our community of learners. May God bless all of you. We thank Ms. Augustus for her welcome message. I hope you took some notes which spoke of our commitment as an institution to teaching and learning and some probing questions for you to consider as you pursue your goal and create your destiny. You're building that passion and that positivity that we want you to develop as you pursue your programs with us. Many educational institutions help 
to build confidence and prepare their students for roles in the workplace and society. At UB Roytech, the student voice is represented through the student council. This is a representative committee for students who have been democratically elected, albeit virtually with officers drawn from the entire student population. The overall purpose is to promote the interests of the student body and to foster academic and social development. To share more insights about the group and the activities, join me in welcoming the Student Council President, Ms. Danielle Silal. She is a current Bachelor of IT student. Greetings, my name is Danielle Silal, and I am the UE Roytech Student Council President for the academic year 2022 to 2023. It brings me great joy to be addressing you today, reminding you that you are on the right path to career success, and the RSC is here to assist on your journey. We at the RSC understand that this stage of your journey will be filled with uncertainties, questions, and so much more, especially as we move towards embracing a blended mode of teaching and learning. As a student, I too face these concerns and can relate to uncertainties, questions, and perhaps fears. We identify with these aspects of student life and want to assure you of the role the RSC plays in supporting and encouraging our fellow students. As you join the UE Roytech fraternity, the RSC is a gateway to UE Roytech's administration. The executive officers of the RSC are the keys to this gateway. Additionally, the RSC is here to serve and help you understand your rights and provide guidance on opportunities that can contribute to the quality of your student life at this institution that is 35 years strong. For us to execute our roles on the executive, especially mine as the president, we need you to execute your roles as students. Be passionate about student lives and not just about completing degrees. We need your honesty in conversations with us, knowing that we are students too and we understand. Join us and participate in activities. Engage with us on social media. We need you to be there with us so that we can truly be there for you. I take this opportunity to introduce my fellow executive officers. Vice President Josanne Prince, Treasurer Juliana Paul, Secretary Nichelle Jeffrey, Public Relations Officer Rondell Bisnath, Club's Representative Destiny Brown, Lead Ambassador Jared Clement, and Head Program Representative Zakaria Ali. As a team of student leaders, we urge you to graciously allow the RSC to hear and acknowledge your voices so that we can work together on our journey to success. We thank you in advance for accepting our invitation to success. That's a lot of things for you. Thanks, Danielle, and getting a student perspective is always enriching for new students. Moving further into, the, into today's program, I now invite the registrar, Mrs. Ginny Adams, to share with you details pertinent to beginning classes, administrative matters, course completion, and continuing the conversation of our caring attitude as an institution. Please take notes as we do have some trivia questions coming up and an opportunity to win prizes. So let's hear from Mrs. Adams. We're so happy that you decided to start your path to career success with UB Roy Tech. 
My name is Janae Adams and I am the Registrar and I oversee the Registry Services Department. At Registry Services, we care. We are Customer Service, Admissions, Records, Examinations. During your course of study, you will visit the Customer Service Counter for information on fees, registration, to make payments and request payment plans or to ask questions about registration and other important dates. Another place to find information is on our website www.roytech.edu. You will be able to find important documents that will help you as a student. One such document is the academic calendar which contains important dates such as start of the term, registration, examinations, graduation. The Academic Regulations Handbook is also an important document that you can find there. This contains all the regulations related to student life at UE Roytech, such as student conduct, academic standing, examination regulations, and graduation requirements. Another important document on our website is the class schedule. This lists all the courses by program that will be offered for the term to assist you in class registration. Online class registration must be done on the student administration system known as Banner. This can be found on the Access Online Services page of our website. Each term, students are responsible for registering for their classes using Banner. You will learn more about Banner later down in this session. Student records, as a function of registry services, maintains your class attendance record. Class attendance is very important for many reasons. While you're expected to attend all 12 classes each term, you must attend all class sessions in weeks one to six to maintain your gate funding. You must also attend 50% of scheduled classes to be eligible to complete your course. Students unable to continue classes at any point in the term should request a leave of absence. Lastly, examinations, an essential component of all school systems. Some courses will have examinations and some continuous assessments. You need to be mindful of the due dates of all your assessments included in the course schedule within the course outline. Where there are examinations, you need to be mindful of the examination timetable and if there are any clashes where two of your courses may have been scheduled at the same time. There's a lot more I can say about my department, but what I will say is that the Academic Regulations Handbook is your guide, so be sure to download a copy from our website where all the information I have covered and a lot more can be found. Thank you, Mrs. Adams, for elaborating on the critical documents and processes which students need to familiarize themselves in order to avoid unnecessary challenges. So I know we've listened to about three videos so far, and we just wanted to, you know, take a pause to hear from you and let you participate in some trivia so that you can earn some prizes, right? So here's the rules you need to use the chat feature in order to submit your answer. So of course, the person who could type the fastest maybe win, win in, right? So of course, you have to have the right answer and you must use the chat. So we're not unmuting and answering any question. We're using the chat feature, all right? So first question to you all. How many years as you will write like celebrating as an institution. Oh, all right. <laughs> 35 years, that's correct, that's correct. So I have my trusty colleagues who will take note of who would be the first person to have answered correctly so that they will get a prize. All right. Um, I, I, and I'll, 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 I'll just share, it's the same Price, right? So, in, in, in meaning that it's you're not going to get at the front price. So, everybody winning the same thing. So, please, if you win the first 
um, activity allows somebody else to participate, right? So the person who was first can, can Kobina, LaPierre, share with me who was the first person to answer correctly? All right, the first person was Nalisha Raphael. Nalisha, well done, well done. Get type real fast and listen very attentively. All right, so the second question. Miss Adams spoke, the registrar, Miss Adams, she spoke about several documents. I want someone to say at least two documents that she spoke about. Any two documents that she spoke about. Because she spoke about quite a few. Right. Continue. Go ahead. Right. So with not systems that we're talking about. So student banner is an actual system that you have to use. So that's an actual uh, online software system that you would have to use. Right. So if you would have said academic handbook your course outline or course schedule, your academic calendar, you would have been correct. All right, so the first person to say academic regulation, academic calendar is Tabitha Sanahi. Hope I pronounced that correct. Tabitha Sanahi? Sanahi. All right. Yes. So congratulations <laughs> to Tabitha. All right, and uh, we will have another segment of prizes coming up. So continue to do a good job. I mean, that means you all are taking notes. You are paying attention to the videos. That's excellent. So please continue your focus. So now we would like to hear about the various systems that you need to access as a student. There are a few. So Mrs. Lee Tung, our manager information technology at the institution, will share on this topic. So focus your attention now on the screen as we hear from Mrs. Lee Tung. Welcome new students. I am Simone Lee Tung, IT manager here at UB Roy Tech. UB Roy Tech since 2019 has been working to upgrade the digital presence of the institution and move into online and blended learning. We have made significant strides and continue to work on providing students with the resources they need anytime and anywhere. The Registrar shared with you the services of care offered by the Registry Services Department. You will also learn a little later about all the activities and resources available to you as a student of UB Roy Tech. The IT team along with the rest of the staff are here to guide and support you with all things online on your path to career success student life, customer service, registration, library resources, classes, attendance, and communication. How do you access all these services, activities, and resources? You will need to connect to the following platforms to access everything you need to stay connected and engaged for the duration of your program. One, the institutional website www.roytech.edu is the window to everything that is happening at the institution. Two, the online student administration system, also called BANA, provides your access to register for classes, check your grades, your academic transcript, and your personal information. Office 365, the hub for checking your student email, attend classes via MS Teams, and access for all relevant resources on the Student Resource Center. And four, your student email credentials also give you access to the newest addition to our online systems, UB Roytech's brand new Canvas Learning Management System. We do not want you to feel overwhelmed by all these systems, and so you will be provided with the necessary how-to guides and videos for navigating UB Roytech online. All right, so Simone talked about four systems. I hope you got all those names. So when we do the next trivia, you know, try to remember 
get it right. So thank you, Mrs. Lee Dung, for the details on what students need to use and access as they move away or move into the different programs and courses. So our last video before we go into our breakout session is from Student Life at UB Roy Tech, where we share details um, from the student services team about what student life at UB Roy Tech looks like. The team is myself, um, Sarika Munyan-Mukun, and we have Ms. Vijaya Pasad, our student services officer, and Mr. Kovina Lape, our student services assistant, to share with you what you can expect as a student. Hi, I'm Sarika. Hi, I'm Vijaya. And I'm Kobina. We, we are, are Student, student services. services. At UB Roy Tech, we believe that students thrive in an environment that has been designed with a focus on meeting student needs. Students are given the opportunity to be active participants in every facet of their learning experience, both in and out of the classroom environment. As adult learners, in our institution, you are empowered to make your student's experience as robust and dynamic as you choose. Whether you are on campus or online, we have crafted support to meet your varying needs. Support for you are provided across departments, which allows you to connect with us need as needed throughout the term. In this segment, we look at one, student support, two, student leadership and advocacy, three, student life and engagement. So, let's talk about student support at UB Reuter. Within student support, we have events like this one, orientation, welcome activities, and academic advising sessions. They are all geared towards helping you transition to independent study. Sessions and workshops inclusive of individual advisor meetings will enhance your ability to use academic tools to maintain or improve your grades. These may be exam anxiety, time management, study planning, and many others, all geared towards helping you cope in this new journey in the academic landscape. Yes, Sarika. And speaking of coping skills, students who encounter challenges can seek guidance from a counselor for more expert advice. We all face difficulties such as the loss of a loved one career changes or financial instability that can hinder our ability to focus. Speaking to a counselor in a confidential space gives you the comfort to discuss ways to help you along the way. Making an appointment to meet with a counselor or any one of us is just a click or call away. That's an excellent tip, Vijaya. As you mentioned financial stability, UE Roytech is aware persons' financial status and gate funding can be affected over time. For those of you who are not getting 100% gate funding for your program, can access the payment arrangements at the Student Services Department. Should, in case our plans are restricted, some financial institutions are ready to provide education loans to our students at preferred rates. That's correct, Kobina. We try to provide as much opportunities for you as possible as our students, including opportunities for you as students to give us feedback. Your feedback helps us help you and future students who would be sitting in your seat someday. We seek your feedback during and at the end of each course, even at events, in special committees or within accreditation and strategic planning exercises. Another area in which students can access support is at the library. Our library staff are willing to assist you with accessing the various online databases when doing your research for assignments or even recommending reading text for your subjects. Students who have any learning disabilities are provided with support as well. If you have an impairment, Please declare this to us, the Student Services team. We can only provide guidance and identify support if we know about it early enough. Speaking of early enough, 
Students often wait too long to raise a red flag or ask for help, leaving us with very little time to get to a resolution. Where matters are grave, you can utilize the student complaints process. Familiarize yourself with the procedure so we can address it at the earliest. The Student Services Department assists with providing a resolution to formal complaints. Now that we've shared about student support, let's discuss student leadership and advocacy. We aim to build leadership and other key skills of students not only within the classroom, but outside of it as well. The Student Council is an excellent forum to build strong leadership and advocacy skills. Student leadership activities are not restricted to any one program at UB Rising, as all students can join once they meet the criteria outlined in the Constitution. Despite the elections being held in June each year to elect an executive, you, you can still join the Student Council by serving as an ambassador or program representative. You also have the chance to become a peer tutor or mentor or even form new clubs and associations that would lend itself to building a positive, rewarding experience for yourself and others. So, why get involved, you may ask? You will certainly benefit from developing and refining your skills, building a professional all-around profile, or even attempt and experience activities that you would not have ordinarily tried on your own, making yourself employable and more marketable. Or you may simply be assisting someone else to overcome a hurdle in their program, which can be self-fulfilling and motivating. So, we've discussed one, student support, two, student leadership and advocacy. Let's now look at number three student life and engagement. We have co-curricular and extracurricular events or activities to make your student experience fulfilling, creating avenues for you to participate. Each term, you can look forward to receiving a newsletter, flyers, or posters which keeps you up to date on activities within the institution. Be sure to check our social media pages specific to student life. We share vacancies, links to articles and items that you may find interesting and interactive. Activities are modified for either in-person or online settings such as games and movie night, video competitions, health and wellness talks, hobby hour and our career advisement fair. These allow you to connect with students from various disciplines and facilities healthy socializing and networking. Each year, we try to bring to you different initiatives working alongside the Student Council. We have sporting, cultural, health, fitness, and even festive activities, of which one or all may strike your fancy. So that will bring us to the end of student life and engagement at UB Roy Tech. We encourage you to connect with us in various ways. Use the online tools to access the services as we wish to reduce risk for all stakeholders. Use your student emails, as it is our primary medium of sending correspondences. And use your time wisely while at UV Roy Tech. We look forward to engaging with you, either on campus or online, as you become involved within the UV Roy Tech community. We, we wish, wish you a rewarding, rewarding experience with, with us. Excellent. So you would have heard from the student services team about all the different areas in which you can get support or even how you can enhance your experience as a student with us. So we have a second, well, prize giveaway segment. Um, so get your fingers ready to type again. So I know we heard in a few videos ago that Mrs. Adams, spoke about the department that CARE. Can anyone list out what CARE stands for? C-A-R-E. So use your chat.
right? Yes, customer service, admissions, registration, and examinations. That's correct. Uh, Mr. Lepier. Giselle you? Fletcher. So congrats, Giselle Fletcher. All right. <laughs> great job, great job. All right. So I give you a hint, right? That was, that was like a very, very big hint. So Mrs. Lee Tong, she spoke about different systems to be used as a student and you'll be writing. So one of those systems, oh good, they're, they're, they're not even waiting for the question, boy. <laughs> one of those systems is also known as banner. What is that full name? One of these systems is known as banner. What is that name? Online student administration system, right. Very good, very good. Right, congrats to Tony Saka. Yes, congrats. Excellent. All right, so congrats to the winners. I mean, thank you for participating. All right, um, we would have gone through so many videos with you and we do have one final giveaway segment after we finish the program information session. So what's going to happen now is that we have breakout rooms for our ADM, which is the Associate in Business Management, Management Systems. And we also have the Adism breakout room uh, where you, the IT students will be able to hear from your lecturers. You'll be able to get more specific information about your program. So after those sessions complete, we return here in about 30 minutes time or so, thereabouts, right? You can ask your questions specific to the program and um, and you are able to, to join back the, the room here and then we'll do our final grand prize giveaway before we conclude for today. All right, so you will see the pop-up on your screen. You just